Okay, now we're going to go through the basic notes of the song. We'll go through the verse first. I'm going to overanalyze this song for you because I want to point out a couple things about the edge and the way he plays. Uh, so bear with me here. I'm going to show you essentially the core melody of the song. It is not the notes that the edge plays or that I play. Okay, so first with the delay, the basic riff sounds like this. And turning off the delays. Now, let's first break this. I'm going to break this down. Each of those notes is an eighth note. Okay? So it's in 4 4 time. What's happening here, in reality, if you played a note during for each eighth note, it would sound like this. This is kind of what I call the core melody. Edge does not play all these notes. I don't play all these notes. So don't look at this part as something you need to learn. I just want to show it to you. It would sound something like this. I played a note on every eighth note beat there. Again, here we go. One and two and three and four and, okay? If you do one and two and three and four and, I'm hitting a note on every single uh, beat. That's the core melody. That is, but you don't have to, and I do not believe the edge plays a note, and he doesn't play that many bass notes especially, on every beat. What he does is he lets the delay do the work for him, and you don't have to hit every one of those notes. So the delay fills in the rhythm. Certainly you could play this that way with the delay. It would sound like this with the delay on. And if you notice, it's a little too complex. There's a little too much going on in the song. I'll play that again without the delays. So I'll play it slow. Okay. So if you like that version, you can play every one of those notes with the delays on. Okay, but I just wanted to show that to you because the edge is playing eighth notes, but the delay, the main delay that we talked about, is a dotted eighth note. So it fills in between the eighth notes and the quarter note beats. Um, now I'm going to take you through what I believe the edge plays, and I'm going to show you two different ways. They're very subtle, they're very they don't make a big difference, so you can play it. And you can take notes in and out any way you'd like. But in general, what I'm going to do now is remove a couple of the notes that I just played in that riff and narrow it down to what I believe the edge plays. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to zoom in here on the neck. okay, And I'm going to pick up here. And by picking up here, you're going to see exactly what strings I'm playing. And again, I'll show you the two different versions. Right now, we're going to do the delay off. Okay. Now, this, what you have, the way you want to set this up is your third finger, fourth finger, excuse me, uh, is going to go right here, the bottom string, the E string. Even though it's not tuned to E because of the capo, I'm going to call this the E string. Okay. You're going to put the pinky on, and it's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to start this as the first fret from the capo. Okay. So fourth fret, thir uh, ring finger goes here. Pinky finger goes right here on the B string on the fifth fret. Okay. And we're going to take the first finger and put it on the G string right there. Okay. G string three. And that's, the, I'm going to call this the, the uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth string. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on the G fourth string, you've got second fret and then fifth fret on the B string and then fourth fret on the E string. That is the basic position of this song.